Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. Today's webinar is going to be a presentation on Jamf Protect and how it's solving the unique challenges of Mac endpoint security. I'm Kelly Conlin, a security solution specialist here at Jamf. I'm a part of a team that is focusing on helping organizations understand security for Apple devices and how we can make that better with Jamf's products. Now for the agenda today, we are gonna cover the simplest path to macOS security, how Jamf Protect works, and how you can do security incident response with Jamf. But first, a quick reminder of who we are at Jamf. If you've never heard of this before, our goal as a company is to help organizations succeed with Apple. And to do that, Jamf offers a portfolio of enterprise grade solutions that are ready to help you tackle authentication, device management, with multiple options so you can find a solution that will work best for you no matter your organization. And our newest offering, Endpoint Protection, to help with the challenges that are unique in the Apple ecosystem. And at the foundation of it all is Jamf Nation, which is still the world's largest community of Apple administrators with more than 100,000 users ready to help you learn more about our products and offer you support at your time of need. Now Jamf helps more than 36,000 organizations manage over 16 million Apple devices. When those organizations need the world leader in Apple management, they turn to Jamf. The world's largest banks, tech companies, most valuable brands and largest companies choose Jamf for Apple management. And Jamf has had an exclusive focus on Apple and a long history of providing same day support for their new operating system and services. This ensures that your end users can take advantage of Apple's newest capabilities the day they are available. So we know better than most that employees are choosing Macs more. And as these choices are being made, those device counts are going to rise. And InfoSec teams are asking, how can we mitigate risk and gain more visibility into the Mac OS? Now, endpoint security is not a new solution, and it has a long history on Windows. And the internals of a PC have been well understood and relatively unchanged. And security teams they're really comfortable with those tools and they know what are available to them and how to analyze those results when it comes to looking for both known malware and common attack techniques. And to us at Jamf, it became apparent that just as Apple devices are treated differently than PCs in OS management, they also need to be treated differently with endpoint security. Attackers are starting to focus on building tools that take advantage of the infrastructure on macOS, and security teams need to be equipped with the best tools to help them to defend their endpoints. Now enter Jamf Protect. Jamf Protect is simply a Mac-focused endpoint security solution that's going to help the enterprise protect those Apple endpoints. Now with Jamf Protect, we are gonna help with some of the more unique challenges when it comes to Mac security. We are first gonna prevent Mac OS malware and watch for any behavioral threats specific to the Mac. Next, we're gonna give your organization the power of compliance while still making sure we are preserving the end user experience that draws them to Apple in the first place. And lastly, we've incorporated custom methods of remediation and response to threats and security events. Now let's see Jamf Protect in action. We're gonna go through three different use cases where Jamf Protect can help and be a benefit. First, we're gonna cover monitoring for visibility and compliance and how we can extend the native macOS security tools. Next, a way to auto remediate known Mac threats. And finally, how it can detect and respond to behavioral events for unknown threats. In this first use case, we're going to be taking a look at some of the built-in security tools. Mac comes preloaded with built-in security features like XProtect, Gatekeeper, and Malware Removal Tool. And these baseline protections are great, but there are some gaps in areas that can be extended. The first of these is just simply visibility. Knowing your device is protected is one thing, but InfoSec teams need to know when these events occur so they can determine if there's any additional impact. 
Now here in this example, this is something we see all the time. We have an end user given an application and they go to open it. And unbeknownst to the end user, this particular application has been compromised with malware. And as we can see here, Gatekeeper is doing its thing, telling the end user that this is an application that shouldn't be on their device and they need to remove it. Now as an organization, you can respond to your end users, letting them know that you've got their back, you understand what's taken place, and you can do so anytime one of these native security tools has an event. You can do something very similar and have any sort of custom prompt. So when it comes to visibility, now you can be aware when these native security tools are working and take it a step further and customize it for your organization. Now, all of this data is sent back into Jamf Protect. This is an example of the Jamf Protect alert field. So anytime one of those native security tools has an event, that data is then pushed into the Jamf Protect UI. And from here, you can see we're trying to pull in as much data as possible about every event so you can do accurate analysis of any of those possible threats. And what's great is Jamf Protect understands security teams rely on more than just one tool. So all of this data can be sent into your SIM. Now, this activity detection isn't the only visibility we're going to give you into those native security tools. Jamf Protect takes the visibility a step further with an embedded Apple security dashboard where we've collected all of the events from XProtect, Gatekeeper, and Malware Removal Tool. And we've even added in compliance monitoring so you can validate that your users are up to date on the latest versions and have those features enabled. Now, to continue on the topic of compliance, Jamf Protect is also auditing a large number of settings on the device that are currently mapped to the CIS benchmarks. This is all under our insights reporting. This will help you monitor and assess your organization's security baseline to determine compliance across your entire Mac fleet. Each insight collected is optional, allowing you to craft a tailored report specific to you and your security posture. Additionally, Jamf Protect taps into another great source of visibility on the Mac through unified logging. We know to do proper analysis of a potential threat or malicious event, you need as much data as possible. And the more data you have, the more informed you are. Without that, it's like looking at a jigsaw puzzle with only half of the pieces. And tapping into unified logging, we can now pinpoint device, file, process, and user data, which was otherwise siloed on each individual Mac. This plus the event data collected by Jamf Protect will help you to get a complete picture of the activity on your Macs. And to analyze this data, like I mentioned before, we know a lot of organizations rely on a SIM. So Jamf Protect can integrate into your existing SIM. This is an example of Jamf Protect data in a Splunk dashboard. The data is in JSON form and comes through of report 443 from, from the device. The data is easily searchable and readable in most SIMs. And to look back at unified logging, you can see here we have a visual of activity from those endpoints. Now, this data came from Jamf Protect filtering from unified logging and generating another JSON file. And with these filters, you can easily collect activity like all login attempts, password changes, and even airdrop transactions. Some of this may not necessarily be suspicious activity, but when you visualize it in a SIM and you combine it with all of your other security data, again, you can see a more fuller picture and understand exactly what's going on across your entire Mac fleet. Now, for our second use case, Apple largely focuses on really impactful threats, and, and they also tend to steer clear of anything that the end user decides to install, even if they are tricked. So Jamf Protect delivers a threat prevention database that is curated by our Jamf security research team. This will prevent the execution of known bad malware that isn't currently covered by Apple's own signature database. And as you can see in this video, the end user tries to open up a file that they've recently been downloaded. And as soon as this user attempts to run that process, that is a known threat. Immediately upon execution, there is a signature match and Jamf Protect will block and remove that process immediately. And what's even better is all of these results are reported back into Jamf Protect. 
So as you can see here, we've actually taken a step further and highlighted all of the threat prevention activity. Now, to dive deeper into some of the data that is collected by Jamf Protect, as you can see here, we've gathered a ton of information on all of the processes that were involved in that event, as well as the binary information to include the path where the file was stored, hash information, as well as signing information. Additionally, in Jamf Protect, you will be kept up to date on any version changes to our threat prevention database as well as the option to create your own custom prevent list. This allows you to block processes that are unique to your organization. And essentially, you'll be able to blacklist from the binary level. For our last use case, let's take a look at some unique behavioral-based detections and another example of remediation. In this case, the end user has been tricked into installing a fake flash installer. This is a really common delivery mechanism for macOS malware. Downloading this installer triggers a Jamf Protect behavioral detection, which for illustration purposes, we've decided to remediate by pushing a policy from Jamf Pro that makes the end user aware of what actions have taken place to isolate their computer by cutting it off from the network. This also will help limit impact of possible breaches and keep the computer quarantined until it can be analyzed. And back in Jamf Protect, all of the information from this event is reported. To even include the actual URL that that malicious file was downloaded from. Now, that particular example isn't the only behavioral event that Jamf Protect is looking for. As you can see here, Jamf Protect has a number of categories for specific types of events and behaviors that we are looking for. Additionally, we have the ability to go above and beyond that and look for very, very specific behaviors that are currently being mapped to the MITRE attack fr framework. We also grant you the ability to customize some of these detections that may be unique to your organization. All right. Let's talk about how Jamf Protect is deployed and break down some of its processes. So Jamf Protect can be deployed in two different ways. The Jamf Protect agent is deployed to your endpoints and then managed through the Jamf Protect UI. There you can adjust the detections, preventions, and any other configurations to the Jamf Protect agent. The endpoints then push any information about the protected devices, any alerts, and even the event data back into the Jamf Protect cloud. With this deployment option, you do not need any additional infrastructure in your environment. You just simply deploy the Jamf Protect agent and go. In the second example, organizations may have a SIM deployed and they wanna correlate their macOS detections and data and have it be sent there instead. For that purpose, the Jamf Protect agent can easily push all of its data into your organization's SIM. In this deployment, the Jamf Protect cloud can be configured to no longer receive any detections or data from the Jamf Protect agent. Now, to cover some processes. For threat prevention and stopping known malware, Jamf Protect curates a feed of known macOS malware. This feed is updated frequently, and the current version is visible in the console like shown previously. Every process launch, the endpoint security framework built within macOS 10.15, Jamf Protect will determine whether an application or a script is safe. If Jamf Protect does say that it is malware, the endpoint security framework will block the launch from happening, and then Jamf Protect will then quarantine that file or process to ensure the end user does not spread it further and allow analysis by your security team. And like the example shown before, every time malware is prevented from running, Jamf Protect will record all of that information and send it back into the Jamf Protect UI as well as your SIM. And just to note, this is only available on macOS 10.15 and above. Now, on how Jamf Protect gets that visibility, the Jamf Protect agent monitors for events and feeds them into the Apple Gameplay Kit, an analytical rule engine built into the macOS to evaluate complex situations and draw conclusions with minimal overhead. We leverage Gameplay Kit to evaluate the computer's activity for any possible malicious events. And any resulting detections and data are then passed on to Jamf Protect Cloud, allowing for the visibility and further analysis. And again, all of this data can be sent into your organization's SIM. 
And we know for experienced security teams that want to hunt for threats on Apple devices, the analytics that Jamf Protect provides are extremely flexible. We also allow you to create your own analytics to customize detections that are unique for your environment. And with Jamf Protect, if some of our detections are too noisy or just not interesting, your InfoSec teams can easily customize the detections that are running on that device without having to do a redeployment. Now, lastly on our processes, let's talk about unified logging. This is pretty straightforward. And with Jamf Protect, what we're doing is anything in the unified log in macOS can be forwarded with Jamf Protect. And we don't want to forward everything because that's a ton of data. So what we've done is we've created filters that can ensure that the right data is being pushed. So forwarding the unified logging you're only gonna forward future data that is important to you, and it's not gonna pull any of the existing data off of the endpoints. This log forwarding feature does require a SEM because the Jamf Protect UI does not allow access to that collected data. Now lastly, let's talk about security incident response with Jamf. I showed previously a couple of different examples on how Jamf Protect can respond to a threat with the power of MDM through Jamf Pro. And with this, Jamf Protect can identify an issue on the Mac, and in turn, it can place that Mac into a specialized smart group within Jamf Pro. And from that smart group, that device can be placed in an exclusion scope to keep away from access such as corporate email, so that threat doesn't continue to expand to other end users. This also allows you to potentially even remove the appropriate certificates that could grant access to Wi-Fi or VPN until they can contact the help desk and understand the full impact of that potential threat. Also with Jamf Protect and Jamf Pro, we understand how to manage the Mac OS. This will allow your InfoSec teams the ability to quickly clean up a Mac after an attack and also remotely reinstall the Mac OS and redeploy any of your organization's apps. Now, just to recap, we took a quick look into Jamf Protect. And we've seen how Jamf Protect can extend the native security tools that come built into the Mac OS. And we've seen a couple of different use cases for how Jamf Protect can alert in real time, notify your end users of actions that have been taking place on their device, as well as our built-in threat prevention to stop any malware in its tracks. We also have that ability of behavioral analysis using our security research team's expertise to hunt for malicious behaviors with, with our analytics engine, all feeding through Apple's built-in gameplay kit. And we've covered deployment flexibility and all of the different ways you can send the data from alerts to either just the Jamf Protect UI or your organization SIM. Now, to summarize, we feel that Jamf Protect, the best solution to maintain endpoint compliance, monitor for and remediate any security incidents on Mac OS with minimal impact to the device and end user experience. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope you're taking away a better understanding of Jamf Protect. And if you wanna hang out a little bit longer, we are gonna continue on and have some questions answered here on the webinar.